the championships for Slovakia and Czech Republic. I'm just going to report on the Czech Republic side, uh, sorry, the Slovakia side, which is Petr Sagan. So anyway, Sagan never really has too much troubles. He basically decides who wins this race. And this time he was like, you know what? 180k, 150, I think it was 150k to go. He was like, I think I'm going to go for it. And just went on the solo break. Uh, and there you can see he's just in the pack at the moment, chilling. It's an interesting race because... For Slovakia, there's only really three World Tour riders, and they all ride for Bora. So they basically decide among themselves who's going to have it. And Sagan obviously was worried he might not get the um, national championships, uh, the World Championships. So he decided to get the national championships this year. And he goes on the 150k break. Um, then he gets caught uh, by two Czech Republic riders, which was Roman Kroizeger and Zdenek Stiba. And uh, for Sagan, he then attacked again just because he thought that the Czech Republic, they'd have a lot of can mousing behind because they want to actually win it. But for him, as soon as he got in that breakaway on his own with about 90 kilometers to go, I believe, he just soloed at home. Uh, there wasn't really too much competition for the young lad. Uh, sorry, he just said, he said that it was like, uh, his brother, sorry, said that it was a bit of a training ride just because everyone else in Slovakia isn't really that good. Um, here we have a bit of race footage. Um, you can see this is the course. Uh, so it's just some laps, um, and Sagan is just very, sol very solid bloke. I mean, being in the break for 150 kilometers and winning is a is a big day out. But obviously, it's just a good training ride for him. Really, that's what everyone seems to be saying. But I'd quite like to win uh, the national championships while doing a training ride. You can see he's getting the time gaps. Unfortunately, we don't exactly know what the time gaps are. But this course, you know, is a bit rolling, uh, mainly pretty flat. There are a couple, couple little pinches here or there, um, but nothing absolutely really hilly you can see he's got a couple guys chasing um i believe that's his brother uh kola no sagan you're right sagan sorry that's his brother and then kola is came in third position so Bora got the one two three um and sagan's looking pretty comfortable in this part of the race four hours 40 10 kilometers to go it's pretty obvious that the man is going to be winning this race with two kilometers to go he had a good six minute margin i believe it was over his brother or something um, obviously, when you look at the result sheets, it's rather confusing because you get the Slovakia result sheets and the Czech Republic result sheets, but obviously in the race, they're together. So Sagan won the whole race and the Slovakian national championships. But I believe it was Cerny who won the Czech Republic national championships. Obviously, he came I believe he came second, but still won the Czech national championship. So often you get sort of alliances because if you've got a Czech Republic rider and Slovakian rider away together, they're both going to work because they're both going to win the national champs. So you can see here, Sagan's pretty happy. He wins that national champs. He's not going to be wearing his jersey, his like tr trade jersey, for another year at least um, because he could win the national world champs, but he's definitely won the national champs. So for another year, you'll see him in not his normal kit. But anyway, good ride from Sagan. You can see here is the results. Uri Sagan got second, sorry, and then Cerny got third. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, and big man Sagan. Looking good for the Tour de France.